So blocks can be in other arrangements as well. This system of blocks are uh, sitting right next to each other and so they push directly on each other uh, rather than there being a string um, connecting them. It's probably even easier with this situation to figure out or to see that the acceleration um, is going to be that same 0.4 meters per second squared that we saw in the in the earlier video. Again, if we apply the f equals ma and we're looking at the whole system, then we're going to use the whole system mass. We're going to use every force that's uh, helping to push or pull the system uh, forward. And so that would be the full 2.4 newtons and of course the 6 kilograms and we get again our acceleration of 0.4 meters per second squared. But things get a little bit different when we really answer the question. The question asks us to determine the force that the left hand box exerts on the right hand box. So let's take a closer look at each box to really understand what that means. So the green box actually is feeling the direct effects of that applied force. The 2.4 newtons is a pushing force. And so for the green block, use a green dot here, uh, there certainly would be gravity and normal force on it. Okay, but this 2.4 newtons is pushing to the right, even though it's it's like seems like it's coming from the left. When we draw a free body diagram, we would put it over here. So that's our 2.4 newtons. Okay, but there's contact now here. Let me get another color. There's contact right here in between the blocks. And so that th there's there's a force that the four newton a uh, four kilogram pushes on the two kilogram block with, and the two kilogram pushes back on the four kilogram. So the four kilogram block, that's what we're drawing with this green diagram, the four kilogram block experiences a leftward force due to the two kilogram uh, block. And you can label this whatever you want. I'm gonna call it F sub B. That's always the notation I use, or I, sometimes I use, to stand for the force between uh, the blocks. That's actually a normal force uh, between the two surfaces, so you could, you could label it F sub N or something like that as well. But that sometimes gets confused with this, so um, I like to give it something different. <clears throat> for this uh, part of the system now, we could write, um, again, F equals MA for just this block. There's 2.4 newtons minus this force between that's pushing back on the four kilogram block. And now we're just looking at the four kilogram one. So we're just gonna use that for our mass times the 0.4. Okay, and when you do your algebra here, I'll write this out in this case, just so you see it. So, that 1.6 is showing up here, but like we saw in the previous uh, video, but the force between is actually just 0.8. Okay, so different situation, different in-between force. Let's take a look at the blue block and see that it does come out to be the same if I look there instead. So my blue block has a smaller mass, so it would be a smaller gravitational force. It probably would be a good idea to label those uh, with like subscripts or something um, if we were going to do a more formal problem. But um, there would be a normal force here. And again, that would be a different normal force, maybe two and one here. Um, but now the key is that in between force, again, that red surface or boundary between the two blocks, that now is gonna be a rightward force on the two kilogram block. The, f the four kilogram surface pushes to the right on the two kilogram block. Okay, now that is going to be the exact same amount of force as, as this F sub B over here. Newton's third law uh, talks about equal and opposite forces. And so I'm gonna label that with the same symbol, F sub B, 
but this is a much simpler um, setup. I just have that F sub B here. Okay, but now again, I'm looking at the blue block so that the mass is going to be 2 instead of 4 times my acceleration of 0.4 meters per second squared. And sure enough, I get that same 0.8 newtons. Same force uh, back and forth. Now officially, um, I should make sure I pick the right direction here. Uh, determine the force that the left-hand block exerts on the right-hand block. So that's actually this blue one over here. doesn't really matter. Uh, I just want to make sure that I include the word right with my answer to indicate the direction that the uh, force would point. 